Now on Daybreak, time to see what's trending. Hello, Kate. Hello. How's it going this morning, it's guys? Great. One, of those, well? one of those days. <laughs> it's all happening. Um, so we have kind of a theme emerging on the show. We have the corpse flower, and I'm taking us into the obituaries for trending this morning. Mm. Uh, it's not necessarily unusual to see an obituary go viral. We've seen some funny ones over the years. This is not one of those times. The look on Kathleen Demlo Shunk's stunned face is incredibly appropriate as you read her obituary situated next to the photo. It starts out innocently enough, noting the usual details, when she was born, who her parents were, her husband's name, the fact that she has two children, Gina and Jay, and then things get interesting. It is revealed that Kathleen had an affair with her husband's brother in the early 60s. She got what? pregnant and ran away to California, leaving Gina and Jay to be raised by their grandparents. She will now face judgment, it says, before delivering this savage last line. She will not be missed by Gina and Jay, and they understand this world is a better place without her. Ouch. Wow. Wow. Man, that's harsh. <laughs> Maybe write your obituary in advance. That's oh, yeah. <laughs> Here's how I would like to be remembered. <laughs> no, don't leave it in someone else's hands. And make things up. I invented yogurt. I mean, why not? <laughs> we'll work on it. There you go. We'll get a, a draft going. Uh, well, here's a real life love story. Completely different direction here. This is something right out of a movie. Decades ago, longtime friends and high school sweethearts Kimberly Dean and Ron Palmer made a pact. If they were both single by the time they were 50, they'd marry each other. So Kimberly's about two and a half years younger, so technically it was when she turned 50. But either way, a deal's a deal. The St. Paul, Minnesota couple got married last week. They'd both been married before. Kimberly has two kids. She say, they say it really started as a joke between them, but they remained friends for years. They were part of each other's lives. They said it may have taken 37 years, but they believe hmm. it was meant to be. Oh, that's great. And finally this morning, you know I love to bring you the latest in ridiculous fashion. Say hello to Pocket Pioneers <laughs> Giant Pocket Shirts because pants pockets are for squares. <laughs> you can choose a traditional t-shirt or a tank top. Either way, you get a giant pocket that can fit everything from beers. your snacks to several beers to a puppy, maybe even a goldfish bowl. The choices are endless. They're really perfect for those summer concerts and picnics. The ease and convenience of the Giant Pocket Shirt will run you about $30. Because who doesn't want to be a marsupial? There you go. There you go. Yes. Patrick, wow. you can put your fig newtons in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I wasn't following along with the story, but now I'm hooked. Now you're interested. Now I'm like, interested. did you say I fig newton? <laughs> <laughs> that's one way to get to my heart. That's one of those with things. Direct that's, access. Yes, that's one of those things that's ridiculous, but would be so handy yes. when you're at a picnic and you have trying to balance everything. Just put those hot dogs right in your shirt. No doubt. <laughs> And what did you say? I think a term that you'll probably never repeat in life ever again. Put those, hot to be a marsupial. Put those hot dogs in your shirts. There's another term you'll never repeat Take again. Take one. Wow. <laughs> Deep thoughts by Melissa. <laughs> Let's move on.